Hey guys, Nick Holding here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so let's talk Best Buy. If you're part of the physical media collection fandom, you know what I'm talking about today. Okay, so it's Friday, January 12th of 2024. I just went to the movie theaters to watch uh, the new musical movie of Mean Girls. I'm planning to post this video maybe like, not this weekend, maybe the next one. So it might have like a little change from the news that I'm telling you guys right now. But as of today. Okay, so I've been a collector since I came to the US uh, back on 2016, but I've been a Die hard collector since I want to say 2017. Uh, I think uh, when I first came, I was just collecting uh, movies and shows that I would love to get into my collection. Like the very, very first one that I got was uh, The Scene Called Love, which I did a DVD review on my channel from my grandma. She gifted it to me when I was still living in Cuba. And then later on, I was obsessed with River Phoenix. Like, that's how good my memory is like she went back to Cuba to visit me she gifted me my own private Idaho from my Criterion collection there is a video on the channel already she gifted to me I love you to that she gifted to me it was my own private Idaho dogfight and I love you to that and a night in the life of Jimmy Reardon uh, so those were my first ever USA DVDs that I own I remember she brought uh, my little brother uh, the DVD version for Frozen and I was like, oh, how cute that one looks. It was a white DVD case. And when I first came to the US, I remember the first place that I went to buy physical media on was uh, Walmart. And that was a moment for me, like, in Cuba, these do not exist at all. And I, I always been like into collecting stuff. I love TV shows and movies. And I was like, wow, I can finally start collecting movies right now. So I started collecting DVDs. And believe me, all this is going to make sense in a second. So I started collecting DVDs. And then uh, as a new guy in the US, I started discovering in which places could I go to get physical media. I wasn't used to buy online, so my only source was going to the physical source. So I discovered Walmart has physical media. I discovered Target. I discover Big Lots, if I'm not mistaken, and I discover Best Buy. So later, later on, I realized that uh, on Tuesdays the movies were getting released. So I created a list at the beginning of the year. I go in, and I still do that to this day. So I basically go into Wikipedia, and I didn't know about Blu-ray.com. I don't know how old the web page is, but at that point I didn't know it existed. So I will put, uh, I will go to Wikipedia and I will put like all USA's movies from the year 2018. So at that point, at the beginning of the year, a lot of the movies like from summer to the end of the year, they do not have posters, we do not have a lot of information. So I basically create a list with the movies that they got my attention and I will decide if I want to go to watch it in the movie theaters and I will decide if I want to get the physical media or not. So, let's say Black Panther, which was one of the first ones that I remember. I saw that they were getting Target exclusives, Best Buy exclusive, Walmart exclusive, so I saw like this whole world on how to collect movies, and that's what I started doing. Now, for the most part, I do love seal books. The very first seal book that I got, uh, it was a gift from me from Spain. It was the Michael Jackson This Is It movie. Um, seal book that I'm planning to do a review on the channel. It's super old that this doesn't even play anymore That's how much I was playing it and I brought it like the last one the last time I went to Cuba I brought that but because that's my very first seal book So I did know that I love seal books uh, The very first ones that I got was Top Gun from Target and The Mummy from Target as well And then I realized that for most of the exclusives uh, if you want to get a seal book release they were from Best Buy now I'm a collector now, like full time. Like I'm checking every single Tuesday which movies are going to get a release. I'm checking Amazon. I'm checking all those places, and I'm getting more comfortable buying online. Since I was working full time at Subway, then I was working full time at Dunkin', and a lot of days I didn't have the time to go to the actual source. So I started doing the pre-orders, and um, 
Honestly, I started doing pre-orders uh, through Best Buy because 90% of the time I was getting the Best Buy exclusive seal books. And I will do the pre-order and then I will try to put it for pickup on the day of, re of release. Back on those years that were, and this is my experience using Best Buy's guide. So I used to get to the web Best Buy webpage. I, I was a member actually, and I got my username and everything. I even got points. There is a few times that I reached the amount of points to get a five dollar discount that I always use for movies. And basically, what I was doing is like, let's say this week I won uh, the Black Panther 4K exclusive steelbook. So I will put my pre-order on, and I will choose to pick it up at the store next to my donkey. Not next, but on the way to my house. It was the Best Buy on Pebro Pines, and I will put it to pick it up on there. So, at that day of release, 90% of the time it was ready at the store like around 12. So, uh, my shift at Dunkin' usually was until 1 p.m. So, I would go from Dunkin' to Best Buy. Then I started rechecking and I started seeing discounts later on. But, the very first time, and this is why I started, I continue doing pre-orders, is because uh, for the Joker, uh, the pickup option wasn't available for the pre-order. It was only to ship to me. And the cheap price was like $5.99 and I'm like, you know what, on the days it gets released, I'm going to get it. I almost got the bad luck that I didn't get the chance to get seal books. Now that's tricky when you're collecting exclusive songs, sometimes sorry, they get sold out even before they get to the source. So that was a big fear for me if I want to get a seal book and I decided to just continue doing pre-orders. Now my experience, I have bought like, I want to say like hundreds of seal books from bestbuy.com and only one has came dented you guys have live videos of me unboxing things from best buy all the time and i have to be honest here i have never run into a situation where seal book comes damaged if i have a problem that it says deliver and it wasn't delivered the customer service at least with me they have given me my money back and they will give me a new order like for example for marvel that i get freak out i have had good luck I remember when the Zack Snyder Juicy League seal book dropped up, it didn't make it to the store, so I got it. The, the day of the release day, I was on vacation somewhere, so I had to ask a friend to pick it up at my door, because I was like, if you don't pick it up at my door and that gets lost, I'm not going to be able to get a new copy because it's been sold out. Funny enough, the, they reprinted it, which it's amazing. Uh, we all should be able, if we want to get a specific copy of the movie, to go to a store or to go online and to get it. because. What happens at that point is like somebody bought it at thirty dollars, and then you go to eBay and you might end up paying one hundred and sixty or one hundred and fifty for the same movie. And now there is even a new four K release from that movie on Steelbook, which looks even amazing because it's like the cast. You can see the cast in the first one that is the one that I got. You can only see the hands and things like that. So, at the almost the end of last year, I want to say it was around October. It was announced that Best Buy was dropping out from physical media. So I'm the kind of person, like, uh, for the time I've been living in the U.S., I always think to myself, like, let's wait for things to happen and then I will believe it. Because there were an official uh, official news. There were, like, people telling that they have sources that work at Best Buy. And Best Buy was thinking to drop from physical media. Now, today is January 12th from 2024, like I told you. Uh, and once I got my movie done, I follow a lot as a collector. I love watching videos of people collecting. And I have to be honest, the very first channel that I follow was Movies from Sue. And when I saw like a lady as passionate as she talking about movies, showing off her collection, don't be shameful because she loves seal books or things like that. I was like, there is a community out there. And I've been collecting since 2017 and I did have a YouTube channel. So I'm like, I'm going to switch my content because this is what I love doing. And for example, tracking the new releases, I always do it for free, I do it for myself. So this is a way for me to sit in front of my phone and just be talking to you guys and to build a community and to make people know that we still love physical media. And there is a lot of people out there that they still love physical media. And also I follow for the longest of times to run cinema. Uh, both of the channels had one scene in common, and it's Blu-ray Tuesdays. And I love those kind of videos. And don't get me wrong, I know even if Best Buy really drops from physical media, they're still going to have amazing content, because they do. But 
I will miss those videos and I just saw today the Duran Cinema last Blu-ray trip with the crew that he has built through the physical media community and it got to me and I'm like I mean one of the things I guess for new generation I do not care to get pre-orders and for example I like some titles sometimes that it's super hard to see at a source I collect TV shows and believe me TV shows once the season is out it's hard to get it at the store for example I have been going to the stores physically like Walmart, Target and Best Buy for like three years now and I haven't seen a copy of the Vampire Diaries either on Blu-ray or on DVD I haven't seen a copy of maybe Suits Walmart at uh, least the one next to my house on Doral uh, it's selling a lot of TV shows but like these complete box sets on DVDs and for me I like to collect my shows like season by season I do a few <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I do a few like individual, really, uh, sorry, I get a few box sets and things like that. So, uh, it really is a pleasure to go someplace. Uh, I did say this in another video, like, I would love for pages to have the options for you to see if it comes with a slip cover or not. Because if, if I collect steel books, I love them to get to came like without dance and things like that. But if you collect slip covers, you do not know once you pre order online if that one is going to show with a slip cover or not. So, usually, when you get an on release day, and that's another thing for collectors, uh, they usually come with slip covers because it's release day. But sometimes movies do not, and at that point, sometimes, like what I do is I check the channels and I check eBay and to see if it actually comes without sleep or it was just the order that I did the pre-order and it didn't show with sleep. So after these new bros and I saw that video today, I got a little bit nostalgic. Again, I didn't do content at the time and I do not go to Best Buy a lot. But for example, I remember when, when Black Panther Wakanda Forever got released. I don't know what happened online and people were getting the movies from the source, but the online orders were delayed. And I saw a lot of people going through the same trouble. So I went to my local Best Buy, they didn't have it, and then I went to the Best Buy on Davy, which is like 10 miles away from my house, and I was able to see the Black Panther Wakanda Forever, pick it up at the store, I got a big discount because I had a $10 coupon, I used it. And it gave me a chance to like, oh, look at all these new releases. And 90% of the time, I will up with an extra movie that I needed need, but I wanted to get it. And basically, my plan today was to, after I watched the movie, I checked the time. It was like 7.35. My local Best Buy closes at 9 p.m. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to my Best Buy. I do follow a lot of content creators and physical media uh, people on Twitter. So I did started to see that uh, this was like the last week that Best Buy was going to have titles on source. And I'm kind of confused, like how do you think this will happen? Like uh, right now you can get online and there is amazing deals going on for steel books. There is a steel steel books from Marvel. For example, I, I saw Thor uh, Love and Thunder dropping to 9.99. Black Panther Wakanda Forever dropping to 9.99. So if you are into collecting physical media, check, because even if they're running out of like the physical media industry, which I hate, I hate to see them go, um, just get ahead and be like, hey, I'm getting uh, discounts from here, and a discount is always good. So as of this moment online, you can still get movies, and I saw a lot of people posting that on their local Best Buy, the movies were gone. I went to mine today after I got to the movie theaters, I'm going to be showing a few clips, and there is this rocket that it was empty. Now, the last time that I went, it was for Black Friday. I got Interstellar, I got uh, Training Day and things like that. And I remember like they have it next to the TVs, like the big DVD and Blu-ray section. And at this point, they move it to the very front. So there is a rocket at the front of my store, at least until today, Friday, that it was a rocket completely empty. But then there is like the new release rocket, which had the newest of titles uh there is a disney and pixar rocket we had elemental the little mermaid guardians of the galaxy things like that i didn't saw a lot of discounts for example the mandalorian was still at a 40 dollar price tag uh wandavision and loki were still at the 40 dollars price tag but i and at the line of checkup there was two lines full of physical media and when i say full 4Ks, 4K sleeves, steelbooks, Blu-rays, DVDs, all that you can find with a lot of discounts. 
So um, I don't know. Uh, my guess here, because I saw from Wanda, there were like 10 sealed books on Blu-ray and 10 sealed books on 4K. So I don't know if it's just like they empty all their warehouses. Uh, of course, I'm kind of sure that they had a lot of boxes with those. They, they, out of the blue, they show a lot of like Super Mario steel books, which I saw that they were uh, sold out. So they put a lot of copies there. Uh, and again, I saw that they're emptying the warehouses if these news are true and they are coming true. Uh, because one of the things that make me believe already that this is true is like, for Marvel and Disney, 90% of the time, the Best Buy exclusive silver was Best Buy. Now it has dropped to Walmart. The next releases from uh, Disney are going to be the Marvels and Witch, which the Marvels drops on February 13th, if I'm not mistaken, and Witch drops on March 7th. I might need to check on that. I'm trying to make memory. I do have it on my calendar, and they're going to be uh, best. Uh, sorry, Walmart exclusive steel books. For the listings, Walmart doesn't have any of the new movies listed uh, for to get them from their webpage. I don't know if they want to roll out of all the inventory or they just like discontinue it online or at source. I did think at the very beginning, like why would they want to read of that online? They can have movies on their warehouse and just selling it little by little. But if they want to drop from physical media, that's okay. Uh, physical media, I don't think it's dying for now. Even with the streaming, like a lot of people that are buy digital copies just to get not the space that we need for physical media. Uh, you know that when you buy a movie, they can get a, it can get out of the digital platform that you got it. For example, with Netflix, when I first came, uh, my best friend and I used to watch Friends. They're all over, like from season one to season ten. And Friends is now on HBO, so you need to have Paramount Plus, Disney Plus, Netflix, all those platforms. I have to be honest, I only have Netflix because the mobile has a discount, and I get it because of that. If not, I don't need it. I still buy physical media. Like, I love buying physical media. Right now, if I want to go and watch Friends, I have the whole set right there on my room, on DVD and on Blu-ray. If I want to rewatch them, sorry, The Vampire Diaries, I have it on DVD and Blu-ray, so physical media is important for me. And I do love the way it looks there. I do love organizing it and I love doing this new kind of content for my YouTube channel, Nick Holden. So, as I was saying, my Best Buy still have copies on the source uh, with a few extra discounts. But as I can see, Walmart is picking up the exclusive seal books. For example, for one, for, sorry, for Lion's Guy, uh, we're going to have the, the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Sons and Bear exclusive seal book. We're going to have from Warner Bros. the exclusive Wonka steelbook, which I'm super excited. From Warner Bros. as well, Taking DC, we have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom steelbook. We have a few Lionsgate steelbooks getting reprinted as American Psycho, Hell of High Water. I think that's the name of that movie because I haven't seen it. All those I did the pre-order already. I'm excited. Uh, the reprints of Lionsgate came on March 27, if I'm not mistaken. There is four different steelbooks. They might be sold out. At the time that I'm recording this video, so start checking Walmart because they're getting at least those steel books. And I'm thankful because I love collecting steel books. I recently bought for a pricey amount of money uh, my 4K collection of Marvel. I'm grading it uh, to 4K steel books. And listen, even if Best Buy drops out of physical media, if you go to Blu-ray.com every single Tuesdays. Companies are releasing movies. I don't see Fix Click and Media is dry, dying right now. And with this 4K, like I love to watch those kind of documentaries. Uh, the movie Vertigo, I watch it from his coach. I watch it because my grandparent told me, like, oh, this is this was once on the list of the best 10 movies of all times. And I heard a lot my grandpa when he recommended a movie to me, and I will go and try to find that. For example, my he recommended Vertigo. I went, I found it. I was living in Cuba. I watched it. And I remember this big documentary being about how they restored a the movie. Now that I think about it, it might be for the Blu-ray release and how some pieces were a little bit damaged already. So if they weren't doing at that point, some part of the movie will have been lost forever. And 4K format, which is cinema format, I love that it's a way to go to those old movies and like redo them digitally. And a lot of time directors get uh, into the project to save a beautiful movie and sometimes not even to save it's just to watch a movie that your 
mom watched when she was a teenager and to watch it this day with the quality that it would have been released on this day it's amazing so to all the physical media collectors right there keep buying stuff uh, i know i will uh, if best buy really drop from physical media we still have options i know target is not the best because he's not releasing a lot of titles as he use and the source are more concentrated on music these days but at least my target still have physical media if Walmart is picking up physical media, uh, I guess stores are going to start getting a, f a new urge to have more physical medias on the stores. And even if they get out of stores, guys, we need to change with times. It's all about pre-ordering online right now. So I know it sucks. I know slip covers can came damage. I know steel books can came then and things like that. But uh, we're going to be all right. As long as we keep seeing titles on Tuesday, we're going to be all right. Now, as a nostalgic moment, if Best Buy is really dropping from physical media, once I got to my store, I couldn't live without getting myself one last 4K slipcovers. And I did check the steel books and all, but I'm on track. I have all the steel books that I want for now. And the ones that I saw at the store, I had them already, so I decided to pick this one up. It wasn't super discounted, it was 22, but $22 for a great movie for a 4K with a slip, shiny. I'm all for it, so I decided to buy Grease. This is the first copy that I ever get from Grease. I know there are like five movies, if I'm not mistaken, but this one, it's always going to be special. Uh, one of the Halloweens I got to my job, and I was uh, the John Travolta character. And in this case, I got the 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital. Then once I do the unboxing of this one on the channel, stay tuned. The digital code is going to be a giveaway since this is Paramount release movie. And this is the 40th anniversary edition, and again, Beautiful, beautiful movie, movie, sorry, slipcover edition, packed with a special features. And if you're following my channel, you know how much I love physical media release packed with a special feature. But basically, that's all that I wanted to say. Let me know in the comments if you like to collect physical media or if you like to collect things. I would love to read that on the comments. And I will try my best to keep doing vlogs. I'm trying to vlog as much as I can this year. I want to vlog when I go to see movies and things like that. But basically, for now, that will be all for today's video. Like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content in the channel. If you are, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can keep this family growing. And see you guys again soon on a new video.